As of Wednesday afternoon, the petition needed just four more Republican signatures, assuming it has the unanimous consent of Democrats, who have long pushed for a vote on a proposal to preserve the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, program, which protects from deportation some immigrants brought to the U.S. illegally as children. Forcing the vote would be a remarkable rebuke to House Speaker Paul Ryan, who has urged Republicans not to sign the petition. It's futile, Ryan argued. The rank and file's willingness to go against Ryan speaks to the growing frustration among moderates with House leadership as well as with their right wing colleagues in the House Freedom Caucus. It's been nearly nine months since President Donald Trump announced that he would rescind DACA and asked Congress to fix the Obama era executive action. In that time, neither chamber of Congress has found a legislative solution. It's time for Congress to do its job and have the debate that it has avoided for years, Rep. Jeff Denham, a California Republican helping to lead the push, wrote in an op-ed for the Los Angeles Times. Conservative Republicans are clamoring for a vote of their own, on a hard-line bill sponsored by retiring Rep. Bob Goodlatte of Virginia that would cut legal immigration to the U.S. by nearly half. Last week, a faction of these conservatives, led by Rep. Mark Meadows of North Carolina, who chairs the Freedom Caucus, sunk an $867 farm bill as an act of protest in the face of inaction. Hanging over all this is the prospect of steep losses in this November's midterm elections, with party elders stealing for a potential Democratic wave. But the schism on immigration is spreading to the donor community, threatening some rank-and-file members clinging to their seats. Politico reported on Wednesday morning that John Rowe, a prominent Republican donor, would cut funding to Republican lawmakers who declined to support the moderate's discharge petition. House conservatives are still hoping the petitioners won't have the numbers. Do they even have the votes? It's a non-issue if they can't find four, says GOP Rep. Matt Gates of Florida. Others say that while they understand some Republicans in districts with sizable Hispanic populations might need to adopt a moderate stance on immigration, the majority of the party answers to a more conservative electorate. To pass with predominantly Democratic voters would be a violation of the Speaker's promise, Meadows said Wednesday, and certainly wouldn't be in keeping with what the overall conference wants. But Meadows told reporters that this was not a veiled threat to Ryan's speakership. The whole narrative that his job is at risk just is not accurate, he said. I can tell you at this point that the speaker will be the speaker until he decides to leave, which I fully expect will be after the November elections.